guys today I'm gonna do a teardown of this Microsoft designer mouse I got it on the marketplace for cheap uh, I remember it should be around 20 odd dollars um, I bought it because it's a very very slim profile mouse um, and it will be very very suitable if you are working outside at a cafe it will slip into the bag without a, a funny pouch so doing a 360 on this um, mouse right just now we can see that it's made in China and interesting thing um, the uh, insertion of this battery both is in the same orientation triple A battery uh, both uh, the negative uh, point is on the contacts let's get straight to the tear down I'm using my sparger okay uh, at the from the rear of the mouse right around 1.5 cm away you just need to slot it in and pry it upwards and it will release the top uh, shell so using my sparger you can see I'm pointing up to this round notch over here it's uh, the middle case is using a reverse notch to secure it and this round plastic moldings to uh, more better secure it from this uh, point I'm pointing over here this is the part that holds down the whole top shell once you release these two tabs it will come off uh, easily so function of this mouse is quite basic it's a bluetooth mouse with a left and right button center scroll wheel and a center click so removing the middle case where you need a t7 uh, screw bit after removing this four screws right it should come off uh, quite easily as well first glance um, the PC billboard looks very uh, small uh, compared to the overall size but I'm quite sure it's uh, quite compact and uh, nicely done up. so if you see that there's this wiring uh, that they laid uh, for you uh, to easily slot in the batteries or don't have to consider which is the positive end which is the negative both will be in the same direction so before removing the board we need to remove the wires first and the board is secured with uh, three more uh, t7 screws it took me a while uh, to understand how uh, after removing the screw the board is still securely uh, fixed so basically at the left bottom corner there's a plastic piece uh, that holds on to the, the board you just need to wiggle it out of its place and shift it out of the top upwards because the contact leads are spring loaded they are inside the case you just need to wiggle it a bit it comes off I'll be pointing to this plastic piece that aligns the whole board onto the bottom shell closer look at the PCB the contact parts are firmly soldered on and this is a scroll wheel I've researched on uh, YouTube there's quite a few videos um, tutorials telling you how to fix this scroll wheel because uh, quite a number of uh, Microsoft uh, mouse the screw wheel the part tends to break it off if you uh, accidentally uh, sit on it, it when it's in your backpack front and back of the board are quite densely populated this is the on off button on top right there will be the uh, left and right click and the center scroll wheel click not to bore uh, all of you I have uh, sped up the cleaning process with some contact cleaner some dirt found inside uh, minimal cleaning needed okay. 
using some IPA, I'll be cleaning the top, middle and uh, bottom shell. I'll pay extra uh, attention to the edges and the joining parts because that's where most uh, dirt it will accumulate. I've noticed through my research that a lot of Microsoft, their mouse, they are being uh, uh, dismantled from the top words uh, compared to other brands such as uh, Razer and uh, Logitech. So from this picture, if you see that the ba battery compartment there's this sticker. So those that are really new to this teardown, right, they might remove the sticker first and find that there are no screws uh, beneath the sticker. I was wondering what is these six uh, silver dots inside the case. So after uh, inspection, it is the magnet that uh, holds down the battery cover. Assembling the mouse a lot of times we tend to uh, miss out the uh, switches and uh, buttons at the bottom and here i'm cleaning away the old uh, grease found on the, the wheel and applying some uh, new silicon uh, grease to help it uh, scroll uh, smoother In day to day life, there's a lot of things we can uh, reuse it. Uh, in this case, it's a pair of um, used bamboo chopsticks. Just uh, break it off, make a sharp point, and use, you can use it to apply, uh, in this case, silicone grease. In other projects, you can use it to uh, apply epoxy or super glue in hard to reach areas. Installing the PCB board, remember that the battery contact points need to go in first and with a bit of pressure, you should be able to set the PCB board into the base. Making sure that the scroll wheel is engaged, it has a positive uh, uh, pressure click on the center wheel. Before tearing it down, I have done some uh, tests. So for this mouse itself, uh, it connects quite quickly. If you are only using one or a Bluetooth mouse device and another maybe a headphone, it, it tends to search quite quickly. But however, if you have a few different um, Bluetooth mouse in different locations, right, it tends to uh, connect much slower. Connecting the battery lead back to the board and screwing down uh, the red and black wire. Before closing up everything, we do a preliminary uh, check. Installing the battery, make sure the lights are on and if possible, we'll try to link it to the laptop. The red LED light uh, indicates that uh, the battery is low. So after this, we should change to a pair of uh, new batteries. We should be good to close it up. Installing the four T7 screws, we should be about complete.
that will be the end of today's tear down and clean video if you have enjoyed it do hit the like button to be informed of upcoming videos please smash the subscribe button thank you for watching till the next one this is restore refurb works